Hi, this is Bob Gersh with East Coast Capital. And today's topic is homeowner net worth has skyrocketed. Homeowner net worth has skyrocketed. If you're weighing your options to decide whether it makes more sense to rent or buy a home today, is one key data point that could help you feel more confident in making a decision. Every three years, the Federal Reserve Board releases the Survey of Consumer Finances, SCF. That report covers the difference in net worth for both homeowners and renters. Spoiler alert, the gap between the two is significant. The average homeowner's net worth is almost 40 times greater than a renter's. And here's the data to prove it. See the graph posted in the blog section at askbarkers.com. The big reason homeowner net worth is so high. In the previous version of that report, the net worth of the average homeowner was roughly $255,000 and that of the average renter was $6,300. But in the release that came just this year, the gap widened as the homeowner net worth climbed dramatically. As a survey of consumer finances report says, the 2019 to 2022 growth in median net worth was the largest three year increase over the history of the modern SCF, more than double the next largest one on record. One of the biggest reasons homeowner net worth skyrocketed is home equity. Over the last few years, known as the unicorn years for housing, Home prices went through the roof. That's because there weren't enough homes for sale and there was a big influx of buyers rushing to buy them and take advantage of the record low mortgage rates. That imbalance of supply and demand pushed prices higher and higher. As a result, most homeowners who had a home during that time saw their equity grow a lot. If you're still in the middle of making your decision on whether to rent or buy, you may wonder if you missed the boat on the big net worth boost. But here's what you need to realize. As a recent article in the Ascend explains, whether your net worth increases in recent years or not, there are steps you can take to boost that number in the coming years. Buying a home can be a great way to grow your net worth since home values have a tendency to rise over time. Historically, home prices climb over time. Even now, the mortgage rates are closer to 7 to 8%. Prices are still rising in many areas of the country because supply is still low compared to demand. That's why expert forecasts for the next few years call for ongoing appreciation just at a pace that's more typical for the housing market. Well, it likely won't be the record ramp up that happened over the last few years. People who buy now should continue to grow equity in the years ahead. That means if you're ready and able to buy a home today, you'll be making an investment that will help build your net worth in the long run. As Je Jessica Lands, Deputy Chief Economist at National Association of Realtors says, when deciding to rent or buy, one must calculate the total cost of ownership, maintenance, utilities, commuting, etc., and the total financial benefit. Based on new Fed data, the median net worth of the homeowners was 396,200 versus renters at 10,400. There's no question about the wealth gain that home ownership provides. The bottom line, if you're on the fence about whether to rent or buy a home, remember that home ownership can give your net worth a big boost over time. If you want to learn more about this or many other benefits of owning a home, let's connect. This is Bob Gersh at East Coast Capital. It is blog, video, and podcast Monday through Friday at askbobgersh.com. If you see me at a local coffee shop, tap me in the shoulder. Let's sit down, have coffee, and talk about whatever you'd like to talk about. If you have any questions, best way to reach me is through askbobgersh.com. Have a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Enjoy life. If I can be any service to anyone, just reach out through askbobgersh.com. Until next time, thank you.